Hello, my name is Dion Santiago and I'm running to be your executive director. They told us to shut up, to submit into being their model minorities that we've always been portrayed as. They told us to assimilate, to forget about our very own identities until all we connect our culture and heritage to is adobo and the toxic effects of colonial mentality. They told us to be limited. But I am standing in front of you today, all four foot nine of me, to attest that no one can ever silence small voices. Because even the smallest parts are vital to the big picture. And likewise, I see the executive director as a nudge. A nudge may seem microscopic at first in the grand scheme of things, but what we don't realize is that a nudge is powerful. A nudge is all it takes for an action or an event to occur. Many leaders standing here before you today, including me, have had moments of doubt. As for membership, Many of us have had a decision imperative to the direction of our lives. Questions pop up like, am I good enough for this? Am I able to represent my community well? But at the end of the day, a nudge is all it takes to make the biggest difference. My nudge was realizing the love that I have for this organization. The way I felt when I talked to my Auding that night before we accepted our nominations. I remembered freshman year Dion gushing to her friends about this new organization that she was in and fast forward to being so fired up for PRPA speeches that she was shaking. You see, I never knew that I could be a part of a community like this. Kasamahan made me feel included. Thinking back, I think Kasamahan is my nudge. Every single one of you. And in every meeting and every event that I go to, I see the very same spark in everyone's eyes. I know and I believe that in this organization, we all have that collective spirit and trust in our community instilled within us already. Some are just waiting for that nudge. And I'm ready to be that and more for you. As executive director, I will hold monthly comm meetings with membership to value your input. I will promote unity and solidarity by being allies to other culturally affiliated organizations through collaborative events. I will advocate for a focus on political and social aspects reinstating our partnership with the local Filipinx community. And lastly, I will share monthly executive director statements on the progress of the organization to ensure that we are all connected. But with that, I do want to say that there will always be moments of change, ensuing challenges and tough discussions along the way. It's not an easy feat, but it is normal. This year alone was a testament to that. But I believe that there's always room to learn from such because we can't always be stuck in what could have been done because that would mean missing the key takeaways. One thing I know will be permanent is this. We will shout and we will make our presence known until there's a collective discussion on what it means to be Pilipinex, until the loudest voice in the room are the echoes of our ancestors, until they listen. Because we are a community built up of several regions and different backgrounds. But united, we make the X in Pilipinex. Thank you.